Oh, well, my people, this is your favorite boy, Mr. Flex, still on the Two Wise Men production. And I'm here with me, with Malam Ziyad Saliu um, Abu Abdullahi. You are welcome to today's episode of uh, The Talking Show. Thank you. And uh, just as the saying says, the three wise men are always from the East. But today, you will know that there are two wise men in this production. And the two wise men are live in the Northeast. They're still East in the North. So, we would like to expose the real fact about Bauchi State. Giving you the hidden treasure of what you don't know about Bauchi State. And here, Mr. Malam Ziyad is going to like express it and sell Bauchi State out to the viewers. I hope you stay put, don't touch that die, keep listening and you get to get the best knowledge of Bauchi State. Um, Malam uh, Ziyad, um, also known as uh, AKA, also known as Emia. Today we're going to be live on the, you're going to be live with our audience and I'm going to ask you some questions that the audience needs to have known. First of all, I would like us to give you, like you to give us a brief description about Bauchi State. Let's know the kind of people that are living in Bauchi State. Oh, first of all, my name is Zayar Salih Abdullahi, uh, a citizen of Nigeria, an indigent of both state. Uh, I have been honored to call here to say some few words about my state of origin, that is Bauti state. First of all, what people should know about Bauti is that Bauti state has been the land of peace and tourism. Um, people in Bauti State in particular I like to say that they are peaceful people, they live with harmony and then as a, as, a, um, as a guest to them or a visitor, you will know that they are very kind-hearted people and you are always welcome to their homes, to their cultures, to their environment and all. And, um, there are many places, let me say, somebody uh, can tell. Uh, well, with that, I had to cut you on this. Uh, Mr. Ziad, um, or Malam Ziad, I would like you to tell us about the rich cultural heritage that Bauchi State possess. Because we would like to know when we are coming to visit Bauchi State, to know where and where we all had to visit, so that it be a memorable part in our head, in our lives. All right, tell us the rich cultural heritage of Bauchi State. Well, uh, as I said earlier, what is said is a land of tourism. It has many ancient places, many cultural places that we inherit from our forefathers. Well, first, first of all, let me say that if you want to know that you really went to Bauti, you need to first visit the palace, the Emir's palace. It's well designed, it's well uh, it has great walls and other amenities. Um, uh, sorry for cutting you, Mr. Emia. Mm -hmm. um, you said if you are coming to Bauchi State, first of all, you visit the Emia Palace. Does that mean that the Emia, anybody that is coming to visit, can reach the Emia and get to know more about Bauchi State so that people will know where to visit first? Of course, of course. Uh, as, I, as I tell you, guests are always welcome to Bauchi. For that case, the Emia himself has uh, organized a team, a tourist team that will guide you to, uh, throughout the Bauti state and the palace. You will see the beauty of Bauti, you will see the cultures, you will see what Bauti people are. Wow, wow, I'm so delighted to hear this. And to the viewers out there, this is a great insight about Bauti state. I would like us to move to the next question so that we won't get, we won't get carried away by the, what the Emir has in stock for us. The next question goes like this. We would like to know, the viewers out there, we want to know what are the major occupations of people in Bauti state. Are they hard working or are they not hard working? We all have to know about that. Well, uh, for that I have to say that we have uh, two major occupations that has been, let me say, the primitive occupation of Bauti people. First of all, uh, we have a rich land, a partial soil, so we are great farmers in Bauti state. We cultivated many crops, many kind of crops and uh, trees and uh, vegetables. We have them here in Bauti. 
So both these states are known to be great, great farmers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that the slogan of Bauchi State is uh, more of the food, like the way Benue is the food basket of the nation, or is there something attached to their slogan? Well, uh, our own, let me say, is cereals. Cereals. They all grains. Uh -huh. Grains. Uh -huh. uh, but I can see the land of tourism. Mm -hmm. Bauchi State is like the pair of tourism. Home of tourism because uh, from what we could read when we are growing up, they said Bauchi State is tourism. Does that mean that tourism is not part of the people's occupation? Well, uh, tourism we cannot say is part of people's occupation. We could say it's one of the state assets. It's one of the uh, let me say things that increase uh, our state uh, our state revenue, economy revenue, or revenue. Yeah. Uh -huh, because people come from different places from different uh, environment to come and see. Uh, let, let me give you an example. We have uh, this young Karigam Reserve. Wow. Uh, that place, not only the indigenous of Nigeria, people from abroad came and see the mythical creations, wow. the beautiful natures of the day. That's one of the wonders in mm -hmm. store in Bauchi State. Yes. Wow, I'm glad to know that. Uh, Mr. Ziad, I would also like you to tell the people, the viewers out there, the great people of Bauchi State and the great people of Nigeria. You know, we've been hearing this scenario, Almajiri, Almajiri, I believe is a kind of formal school system. I would like you to give us an insight of what Almajiri really means. Well, um, uh, Al Majuri, let me say, is a young Islamic scholar. Is usually people are, are misunderstanding the concept of Al Majuri. Okay. Al Majuri has been uh, since uh, the, ancient, the ancient times in north, especially in northern part of the Nigeria. Al Majuri, like we Hausa people, who uh, like a father, when the when his son come of age like a teenage yes uh -huh. he will send him to uh to, to get some knowledge okay uh -huh. Amajarina is based on knowledge it's based on knowledge it's like a former school where you send your child to yes. go and acquire knowledge yes but what brings about the misunderstanding is that well uh, you see Amajiri roaming about on the street and other things but usually that's one of uh, the habits of northerners usually we northerners we are very good to our guests okay um, uh, uh, sorry for cutting you, um, uh, Malam Ziad. I would like you to tell us, is it proper? Because some of the Almajiri, the way the Almajiri system is being run in the north here, is it proper that you give a child a plate to go out there and beg? Or you make it a formal school system where you send him to a dormitory and ask him to which of the above, which suggestion would you like to give to the educated minds of Bauchi State? Well, uh, since now things are changing, uh -huh. We are now, the, uh, uh, let me say, in socialized area, socialized environment. Actually, before, Anwajiri, Anwajiri, a uh, school, young scholar, he will never go for hunger because usually uh, our people, they usually uh, are, are attached to scholars, especially they say, ah, this one is a scholar, it's Anwajiri, uh, and they will be eager to give him food and shelters and other things. But nowadays, things are just changing. You will see Anwajiri. Uh, he will be having, uh, he will be living a single day without having some, uh, something to eat, having something to eat. Mm -hmm. So things are changing. I will have some advice to our people. Okay. Let it become like an academy. Okay. And uh, where we can take care of them, we can shelter them, we can food them, so that they can have a very good and out, uh, outstanding knowledge. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, because um, the, for the former system we, do, we are observing right here in the north currently, since the, uh, these two wise men uh, stormed the north, we discovered that more Amajiri are more of begging. And the Karatu, they called it, which I learned from that, as you can see, I'm learning more of your language down here. Mm -hmm. uh, the Karatu, they, they came, that's the study, they came to study. After being able to carry out those activities, they had to go for begging to survive. That is survival of the fittest. Now that you just made it clear to the viewers out there that they need to make it a formalized school system. I believe that was one of the ways to tackle some of these problems in, the, in Nigeria. And also, Mr. Emia, there's, I still have two reserve questions to give to you. I would like you to tell us what are those things you think the Bauchi states are doing that you don't like. Because all human beings has its positive and negative part, the good or the bad. So what do you sell to the world that these are the negative part and you want them to strongly change in their ways? Well, uh, with that, it, there is something that has been going through my mind lately. Well, uh, as you said, every place, every society has its own obstacles, or let me say problems. Well, uh, for my Bauchi state, let me say we lack 
we lack job opportunities for the youth. Okay. Actually, you, our youth are going uh, around like that without any having jobs. And uh, mind you that, as uh, the number of the youth are increasing, yes. uh, you know we know we all know that a youth cannot uh, live without so many uh, basic amenities in his life, and because he has come of age, at least he uh, he know what to do and he know what he likes. Okay. So without job opportunities, I think our society will be put to threat of a robbery and uh, all these kidnappings and all that things okay with a broader picture of what you just said uh to my own understanding and i believe so many viewers out there will be wondering like the job opportunity you see it's a global issues in nigeria currently now and again this problem had to be tackled by the state government or the federal government and if you go to other part of nigeria we are still suffering the same issues lack of job or lack of employment opportunities i believe it's a global issue so what measures in your own way do you think the Bauchi state government has achieved the greatest achievement in reducing these poverty rates? Well, uh, lately, actually, our government has been on the process of eradicating that kind of problems. Like, uh, just up recently, uh, there is one program, the, the, uh, the Food for the Indigenous of uh, our state. It's just a uh, youth empowerment, and they give you some capitals, and uh, there are some, let me say, like, uh, technical uh, academies. Uh, they teach our youth uh, how to uh, live by, by themselves uh, by teaching them some um, uh, crap, art crafts That's and good. other uh, uh, talent, talent uh, things. Yeah, that is skills as skills, yes, yeah. All right. Uh, in one word, before you go, Mr. Emia, I would like to you to tell us the greatest achievement of Bauchi State. Well, uh, our state has succeed in uh, creating a grave achievement not only for the state and it is uh, indigenous but also for the nation as a whole uh, let me remind you that uh, the, our first uh, prime minister sir Abaka 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 Balewa, Balewa. Uh, uh, he has he has played a great a great he's one of the founding father of yes, this country yes, uh, you know his contribution actually, is immens immensely actually, so actually. we all had to imitate him uh -huh. i believe uh with that i think uh Bauchi state has done to the viewers out there Bauchi state has done a lot of good to nigeria that is why the unity of nigeria need to stay put we need to put our hands together to work and to remove the enemies that want to divide us uh with me live here in the studio is malam emia i would like to welcome you again to the stage the talking show of two wise men production mm -hmm. we hope to host you next time and to ask you more relevant questions and to know more about about the state when next we storm northeast yes, all, all right. right you are welcome I'm, to the studio i'm always at your all service right. welcome welcome thank, thank you, you. Mm -hmm. all right welcome. Mm -hmm. all right